All right, you guys, we're here in update 18, and it seems like it is absolutely packed with features. So let's go over the dev blog and what we can expect to see in this new world. All right, to start off, this extension of the good versus evil update is going to be called the angels versus the demons good or evil so we've already gone through all of this it seems and then down here it says to the castle through evil depths and heavenly heights complete quest to unlock all the new good versus evil zones your fate was chosen continue hatching through your team's new eggs get to the end final egg has a chance to hatch two new huge pets so we have the huge sage axe lot or the huge devil agony so both teams will get a new huge that they can get. Let's just keep going through it. I don't think I need to read everything. We got some new pets, as you can see, a lot of cool looking stuff. And then here are the three new huges that we got in this update. So we got that huge Sage Axe a lot, which you can get from Good versus Evil World or the Good Gifts. Devil Agony, which is also in the Evil Gifts and the Good versus Evil World Egg. And then finally, the huge Good versus Evil Dragon, which is actually earned from the Diamond Egg. So that's going to be very interesting to see in game all right so let's find out more about that actually so right here the diamond egg has a chance to hatch the good versus evil dragon it is expensive to open but it is an opportunity to get the very limited huge pet so this egg's actually only going to be available for 2500 huge hatches that's actually a very low exist count for a limited time huge like this so we're definitely gonna have to be opening this egg asap and it seems like it only costs 50 diamonds per Per egg which honestly isn't that crazy i'm definitely curious to see what the odds to actually get this huge are from this egg because this huge is definitely going to be worth quite a lot if there is only 2500 that can exist in total this is definitely really cool i like that one a lot now moving on we have the raid mini game so this looks like it's going to be in the castle i assume every two hours participate in the chest raid see how far you can get by breaking chests rewards are given by breaking chests and playing each raid chance for huge sage axe lot and huge devil agony from playing all right so very interesting they did another timed event now if you guys were here during the summer update you'll know that these timed events absolutely suck i actually hate timed events in pet simulator 99 it just sucks having to show up at a certain time to be able to grind something i just don't like this idea at all at least this one is every two hours and not every four hours like it was in that summer update but this is definitely going to be interesting to see honestly never thought we would be doing another chest raid where we have to destroy uh, multiple levels of chest so definitely chest breaker is going to be good here as well as corruption so we'll have to take a shot at this chest raid in a minute but let's just keep going forward and let's actually hop in the game soon all right so from what i've read here this little raid event seems to be what's going to be on that third leaderboard that we have in the final area each room counts as one point so people are definitely going to be pushing for this that's actually a really cool battle i like something like this a lot and then of course there's a top 25 250 and 1000 reward for each of the leaderboards so far now regarding the good versus evil contest the competition is still on the event board has been reset really this week each time a team loses they get a one percent bonus team evil dominated last week who will win this week i don't necessarily think this is the best system to get over that one-sided competition we had last week but i guess we will see in game moving on we have the diamond gift hunter enchant so destroying a breakable can drop a diamond gift bag and these gift bags can be opened for six thousand to five million diamond i don't know about you guys but that sounds like an absolute ton of diamonds i guess it definitely depends on how often these diamond gift bags actually drop when using this enchant as well as if this enchant stacks but off the bat this sounds like it could cause a ton of inflation again i can't emphasize enough it really just depends on how often these gift bags drop because if this thing drops like one time an hour then it's not really a big deal at all but if you're getting these dropped like back to back to back constantly then we can expect to see quite a bit of inflation i would assume in this next update now granted a lot of people aren't fully grinding right now because everybody's opening eggs for the clan battle so i don't know if we would truly see the effects this week but i think just based off these news and testing the enchant if it's actually good i think a lot of people would start pricing things higher 
here just right off the bat. That definitely seems really crazy. And then of course, moving on, we got a new forever pack. So each week we get a brand new forever pack, a brand new way to waste our Robux. So Angels versus Demons uh, limited time pack. So we got the chance for the huge Devil Dominus, the huge Warrior Wolf. So I don't think I even need to go over this. I think you guys will understand what's in this pack. You can see down here, you have the chance at getting those two new enchants as well as those two new huges. And then there is a brand new official website for a pet database. So this kind of looks like it's ps99wrap.com's kind of format, but it doesn't look that good off the bat. I'll click on this and we will go over it in a second. Added a friends tab to the clans menu that shows your friends clans. I don't really know who asked for this. That's kind of a weird feature, but the ability to transfer clan leadership, that's a pretty important one. Changes to the event. So a bunch of event fixes, it looks like. Added your current place out of a thousand on the event leaderboard. So this is a very important one. I'm not sure why that wasn't a feature before, but either way, a very good change. Added the losing streak that grants a point buff to the losing team. So that's that new system they talked about. And then it seems like they pretty much fixed every other bug that has to do with this new event world. Oh, they also fixed the inventory hotkey F. I thought honestly that was just a feature of being in any of the event worlds because that's just how it seemed like it was for every single event world we've had so far. So that's going to be very useful for us on the PC. Besides that, it seems like they did a lot of other little bug fixes, lag fixes, auto farm, a bunch of other stuff that I guess wasn't working that I didn't even know about in the first place. So let's actually take a look at this new database really quickly. And right off the bat from looking at this website, it just honestly does not look that clean at all. There also does not seem to be a dark mode for the website, which also isn't the best thing. Now let's just look up a huge, so like the huge happy rock so like this little area does look pretty clean but let's see what the chart looks like all right so i'm gonna be completely honest this chart does look pretty good compared to ps99's charts and i definitely wonder how often this actually gets updated if this gets updated like in real time when the wrap actually changes that'd actually be pretty cool we'll probably explore more of this website later on in a different video just so we can go over this update right now but either way let's head into the good versus evil world and see what we can expect to see all right so right off the pet it looks like they just like somehow changed the world and just edited in three new areas in between here and the final castle so that's very interesting. I don't know if we've ever seen big games do that in a world so far. We were actually pretty curious on how they were going to add those three new eggs that we saw. So of course we got to make 20 new rainbow pets. Now while we're grinding to actually get through this area, we can check the new exclusive shop because I do actually want to see if they remove the superior chest mimic. So right off the bat, I noticed they included this Titanic merch drop in game for Roblox. I'm actually curious on whether or not this is allowed. Very interesting to see them advertising those $300 plushies like that. So of course we got the angels versus demons pack still have the flex egg in the shop and then if we scroll all the way down it does look like they finally removed the superior chest mimic from the exclusive shop now in terms of whether or not i think that enchant is going to skyrocket honestly i'm not too sure because as you guys know that superior chest mimic was in the exclusive shop for like a month and a half which is an absolute load of time so a bunch of people were able to buy this and not only was this available in the exclusive shop this was the only exclusive enchant available in the exclusive shop so i bet a ton of people were actually buying this thing and it also looks like they're charging 3200 robux for this enchant so it's definitely not cheap but big games is definitely going to make a ton of money off this one because this does sound like it is pretty good before the end of this video i'll try to find one in the trading plaza so we can do a test right off the bat for this now while i was grinding this someone did just message me the actual chances to get that huge good versus evil dragon from that diamond egg and from what they've told me it's actually a one in 8.3 million chance so if we actually take those odds and then multiply them by the price it actually takes to open it that means that on average this huge is only going to cost you 416 million 
And honestly, for a limited time huge like this, I think this is a pretty good gamble. So I would definitely go ahead and try to open that if I were you guys. I'm also not sure if you can get a gold or a rainbow version of the huge. My cat is going absolutely insane right now. I'm honestly not sure if I've showed her on camera in any of my YouTube videos in like forever, to be honest. But here's my cat. If you guys have never met her right next to me where I record, I have a cat tree and she's always just sitting there asleep while I'm recording. So she loves to be in here while I'm making my videos. But anyways, we are moving on to the final area. Area so we can finally see everything that's over here so let's move our pets and then let's actually check out this huge and it looks like three people have already gotten this huge and we can open up 102 of them at a time so this is going to be really cool to see all right you guys so we're on my trading account and we're going to actually look for one of these new diamond gift hunter books in the trading plaza and see how much we could buy one for well that seems like a legitimate price 1.75 billion for it that is absolutely insane hopefully we can find a different one that's available for a little bit cheaper honestly if we could find it for like 500 mil i'd buy that but this guy's selling it for 1.5 bills so they're definitely trying to take advantage of the people that just want to test out this enchant instantly which is pretty understandable to be honest 1.25 billion here in this booth all right you guys so so far this 1 billion diamond one is the cheapest we've found and i really do not want to pay 1 billion diamonds for this new enchant because of course it's going to be in the exclusive shop for probably another month at least so the price is going to trap down quite a bit but let's actually head back onto this account and see if we got any of those huges from opening all this time so from the looks of it we did not get the new huge from it but i guess we can test out this chest raid really quickly before this video ends now off the bet this is the loadout that i'm going to try to use for this chest raid i'm not sure if it's good quite yet i'll probably have a whole separate video on how to do this event the quickest so look out for that video later on and i did go ahead and just load into a private server so i can see exactly how well i'm doing just by myself while doing this now another thing i would probably suggest is definitely turn pets follows taps back on because that is very important for stuff like this oh okay i guess it looks like i just destroyed everything and you can use your hoverboard in here so that's really cool i'm absolutely flying through these chests right now i'm like accidentally breaking these chests in future rooms just because of how fast i'm actually breaking these things holy i mean from the looks of it maybe even tap damage would be a good addition to this lineup because i am absolutely destroying it by just clicking my pets haven't even like hit one of these chests yet but yeah a minute in and we're already on room 18 doing this solo so it doesn't seem like it is all that hard now one thing i'm noticing while doing this run is that the orbs actually aren't shooting at the chests at all so definitely don't use the nightmare orbs like i'm using now i will replace these with probably another tap power book and then honestly i just put my super magnet back on because i'm not sure really anything else helps we should be at the cap for the enchant for the criticals as well as the strong pets so I don't think stacking another one of those is going to help much at all. And actually from testing just now, it seems like enchants actually aren't really doing anything. Because as you can see, actually I'm not sure if you could really see this, but I'm doing like 2.94 million damage right now. And I just took off my tap power books. So if I actually put those tap power books back on, it still looks like I'm doing the exact same amount of damage. So enchants actually might not be affecting anything right now. So that's quite unfortunate if that is the case. All right, you guys. So it does look like the chest rate is ending and I was doing quite a bit of testing. So I wasn't trying too hard, but we did get to room 56 pretty easily without any effort. You guys are going to have to let me know down in the comment section what room you were able to get to. It also seems like like they forgot to put a function to actually kick you out of this little chest raid when it's done so that's fantastic we're actually just stuck in this very long hallway and i'm also pretty sure that this video is going to be very long so i don't want to prolong it too much for you guys so i'm probably just going to end it here i'm thinking i'll do some sort of video testing this new diamond enchant to see if it's actually good and you guys should buy it or not so let me know down in the comment section whether or not i should buy this enchant and do some testing thank you guys so much for watching though as always i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out